It's easy nowadays to kind of sneer at people who say things like, be yourself, be true to yourself, you do you. But the reality is there are some real benefits to looking within yourself to find yourself. So the expressive individualist movement. I can think of at least three. So self-reflection, self-reflection is actually a good thing, of course. All of us need to know what our personality is, what our gifts are, what our character is like. And the Bible actually has the injunction, think about yourself with sober judgment. Uh, the Psalms are full of this kind of introspection, if you like. It can be excessive, of course, but uh, self-reflection can be a good thing. The second benefit, I think, is inclusion. So what's driving the movement of expressive individualism in our day in large measure is the fact that within our societies in the West, we've had groups of people who are not mainstream, who feel to some extent marginalised and even discriminated against. And those groups basically are looking for recognition, for a kind of acceptance within society. And uh, those groups, by owning that distinctive identity which they find within themselves, um, they, they seek, and in many cases, social trends show, they, they find acceptance within society. Francis Fukuyama has a book on identity which says exactly that. What's driving even identity politics which I think um, has a lot of problems with it, um, it does have a positive side to it. Namely, this idea that all human beings, all of us are made in the image of God, deserve the dignity and respect that everyone uh, has. The third benefit is authenticity. Now, being true to yourself as a piece of advice on its own is, is, is pretty simplistic and superficial. But, but let's face it, being true to yourself, being authentic is a good thing. You don't want to be a phony. Uh, you don't want to uh, uh, be uh, not true to yourself. And I think of it this way, I've got lots of friends who uh, are quite distinctive in various ways. And I say to myself when Frank or um, when Sarah does a certain thing, oh, that's so Frank or that's so Sarah. Th these are people who feel comfortable in their own skin. And that's the kind of sense in which we can affirm the notion of authenticity. So the three benefits again are uh, um, inclusion, self-reflection and authenticity.